here's another JDP practical useful tip. Here we are, we're uh, down on uh, Lake Makapuri and um, we're uh, just doing a long exposure now. It's, it's middle of the day, it's pretty cloudy so uh, it's um, a reasonably slow shot at the moment. Anyhow at 100 ISO F11 I'm shooting at about a 40th of a second. Now to get the long exposure I'm putting a 10 stop, a Lee filter 10 stop filter on there uh, like a big stopper and uh, that's it there okay so the process is set up your shot take a normally exposed shot okay in this case F11 ISO 100 a 40th of a second and what happened is that years ago I was finding with a view camera I had no feedback so I had to work out a formula and I worked out a formula basically based on 1000 so take your normal shutter speed and divide it into a thousand will give you a ten stop uh, a ten stop exposure in seconds so if you're shooting at a fortieth of a second divide forty into a thousand it's twenty five so twenty five seconds that's your ten stop exposure very simple if you're shooting at a hundred a hundredth of a second divide a hundred into a thousand and it gives you ten seconds okay very simple if it's a five hundredth of a second, divide five hundred into a thousand, two seconds. So simple mathematics, it's not absolute perfect. If you want perfect, divide the shutter into a thousand and twenty-four. But just round it off at a thousand, you'll be very, very close, if not spot on. Okay? So just remember the rule of ten, it's uh, take your normal exposed shutter speed and divide that into a thousand. If your normal shutter speed is like more than a second or a second, then effectively you're dividing one second into a thousand, which is a thousand seconds. So in effect, you actually multiply. As soon as you get to a second, you're multiplying by a thousand. Okay? All right. Signing off on uh, Practical Tips. Cheers. Bye.